And then of course this is just my Accutane experience. This is what I've experienced. Everyone's experience is different. So definitely don't take all my words for these things. You want to do your own research and make your own decisions because you know this is just my experience. I'm not saying you have to live your Accutane experience by that. So there's a disclaimer there. Hey everyone, it's Kitty and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my Accutane survival guide type video. I'm going to be giving you just like some tips in this video as well because I asked on Instagram stories if you'd like tips as long as the products that got me through Accutane. And I've been meaning to do this for about a month now but I just didn't get around to it apparently. So yeah, we are here today. We're about to do this. But yeah, these are the products that got me through Accutane. The ones that really made me survive Accutane that really helped with my skin when I was dry, peeling, my lips were peely and just very crackly and dry every five seconds. That was crazy. And if you want to hear about my whole Accutane experience, I have an Accutane and just skin care video playlist up above. I have just every Accutane video you could possibly think of. My updates, which I did quite a few updates, and then my whole journey videos wrapped up all into one if you want to see that. And then also my skin story is up there as well and just a bunch of ton of videos. I will link that all up above. I'm not going to give you like all my information about my Accutane experience but I'm just gonna be sharing the products and just my tips when it comes to Accutane and have the tips come to the end of the video I'm gonna do the products first and stuff like that so yeah let's just get on to the products that helped me survive Accutane so if you want to see that keep on watching okay so I used two different cleansers and I liked both for Accutane but I'm gonna talk about my favorite one first my favorite one to use throughout Accutane was the CeraVe hydrating cleanser I think this was an amazing cleanser I ran out of it I think after I finished Accutane I ran out of this cleanser but I really really liked this cleanser I thought it was very nice and it just felt very nice in my skin it, uh, it hydrated it kept my skin's like pH balance good and it really just hydrated my skin kept it hydrated kept, kept it great which I loved and I loved that cleanser it just really worked well and I honestly would repurchase it but I have two backups of Cetaphil so I'm trying to use up those before I buy any other cleansers next I did use Cetaphil like I just mentioned I have Cetaphil and I've been using this post Accutane I've been really liking it would you like a video of me talking about my post Accutane routine would you like that like me talking about products I've been using Prozactane. If you'd like that let me know down below because I'd love to do it for you. But I've been using Cetaphil and stuff like that. It's just a very basic and soothing cleanser which I think is nice and I use this throughout most of my Actane experience. I didn't start using CeraVe until like maybe the new year. I'm not really sure when I started using it but I really do like the Cetaphil cleanser. I think it's just a very basic cleanser and it's just one that's great to have. I would definitely start out with something like this. Very basic and stuff and I would definitely recommend also starting out with any products that you're going to be using on Actane like right before you start Actane like a month before just so your skin can like I just feel like sticking with that would probably be better than like you know changing up your whole routine once Actane comes around and then the times when I did want to exfoliate which I when you're on Actane only exfoliate once a week because if you over exfoliate your face it's just not going to be like good for your face it's not gonna it's not gonna like be good your skin will probably be super irritated especially when your skin's dry you do not want to over exfoliate so the exfoliator that i loved using is the st ives even and bright pink lemon and mandarin orange scrub this is supposed to polish away little impurities for bright radiant skin this is a moderate exfoliator so i think this is a very good exfoliator like i said it's the st ives i would only exfoliate my skin once a week so i would use this cleanser all the time or my cerave all the time all during the week and then on the weekend one day i would exfoliate my my skin I would only exfoliate once a week I think anybody you only really need to exfoliate once a week and some people say stay stay away from the exfoliators but I use this one and this one is very very gentle so I found that it was just nice to use and it's hypoallergenic and paraben free and it's a hundred percent natural exfoliant and it was just a very gentle exfoliant so if you're gonna go for exfoliant I would definitely recommend this one it was just very natural and just very just it wasn't too rough on the skin so I really took this this one and then I wouldn't recommend using any rosehip oils because rosehip oil I found on Actane really made my skin irritated stuff like that's something you can use post Actane when you're off Actane but for some reason on Actane oils just didn't really react well with my skin I think it's just because my skin was so sensitive on Actane so definitely wouldn't recommend anything like this just no oils on Actane not good for your skin just don't do it wait until you're post Actane to use stuff like that so then I would moisturize my face and the one I liked using is the Ultra Repair Cream 
came from First Aid Beauty. I had a tub of this in the beginning and then I started using like the tube of it, which I actually liked better because I don't like digging my fingers in. But honestly, the tub, you get a lot more product, so that's more worth it. They do have a big tube of this, so if you just want to get the tube, get the huge tube. And this is the Ultra Repair Cream. This is just, it hydrates your skin, it helps part your skin, relieve minor irritation due to eczema, and this is great to use on your body, but also to use on your face. It's just such a nice moisturizer. I really like this. I used it day and night. That's how dry my skin was. My skin would drink this up, seriously. Like, I, my skin would just be like, mm, yeah, we're gonna drink this up. It was great before makeup, great with no makeup, great at night. It was just great. I lathered this stuff on like it was butter, not even kidding you. Yes, this is great to have on Actane. This is definitely a good product and it's definitely a good moisturizer to use day and night on Actane, especially when your skin's, especially when your skin's dry. And honestly, when your skin's not even dry, I would recommend using that when you're on Actane because your skin will get dry soon. And if you start with hydrating products right away, your skin might not get as dry as fast if you're really hydrating it, if you know what I mean. Okay, and also after the shower, I would use this little eczema cream. This is the Eucerin Eczema Relief. This is it's supposed to relieve and fortify dry, itchy, eczema prone skin. I got eczema on Actane on my hands and everything. I got it on my hands and then on my elbows, on my arms. I even got dry patches on my legs a little bit. So this is a great eczema cream. You can get a steroid cream from a dermatologist or a doctor or anything. But honestly, I just went out and got this and I think it's a lot better than that. It's just the Eucerin, like I said, it just looks like that. I would just definitely recommend getting this rather than getting a steroid cream because this works just as well and it's a lot cheaper probably unless you can get a free prescription. But yeah, this just is really nice. And if you want your lotion to smell, you can always like mix it with the Bath & Body Works one or just one that does have a scent to it. This does not have a scent to it. And I even like this to this day just because it is very thick and it does work. So at night, this is great to put on, especially if your skin is still dry. I still have like some dry patches on my skin. My skin is hasn't gone back to like combo yet. See, I really like this and it just really worked well with any dry patches and just any eczema I did have because I did have quite a bit of eczema. My doctor recommended that I get the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask and I did buy that. I have no idea where I put mine. So yeah, it might still be in my makeup bag for all I know. I think it is actually, but I don't feel like getting it out. And I used that, but it was just very sticky and it just, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of it. I preferred it like sometimes, but most of the time I was just like, nah, I'm not for that. I, I don't like that. But I heard a lot of people say while they're on Actane that they liked Aquaphor. And the tailor here on YouTube was on Actane around the same time I was. I think she was a month ahead of me on Actane schedule. And she was talking about this in her video, the Aquaphor Healing Ointment. This is just the regular Aquaphor. It's not like the little Aquaphor, the big Aquaphor. And I definitely recommend getting the big Aquaphor, not the little Aquaphor, because this one is like 10 times better than that one. It just looks like this. It's an Aquaphor Healing Ointment. It's the number one dermatologist tested brand for dry cracked skin. It has advanced therapy for dry cracked or irritated skin. It's clinically proven to restore smooth, healthy skin and you can use this on your lips. I would just take this and squeeze it up and then put it on my lips, just straight from the tube. I would literally put a little bit on my finger and then just rub it on my lips. I really liked this for my lips because it really repaired them, really kept them from being dry. And I would literally apply this about a thousand times a day because my lips are so cracked. Honestly, I say even to this day, my lips are so cracked. They literally, they come up a few inches forward. Like it was crazy. This was definitely something that I love to use on my lips. I love this way more than my Bite Beauty. I just found that like this worked a lot better than that, if you know what I mean. Like it just, it did not do me as good. I really liked this way better. This is just amazing. You need this if you're going on Accutane. Okay, so also before I use that, I have to mention this. So before I would, of course, put this on and hydrate my lips, I would exfoliate my lips. And this is my favorite lip exfoliator. This is the Elf Lip Exfoliator. They come in a couple different flavors. I have mine in sugar, but I believe they have a mint and they might have like a cinnamon. I'm not really sure. I love this. This is really easy. It's on the go product because you can rub it on your lips and stuff. You can like rub it on like it, like it's a lipstick because it comes in like a lipstick too. And then you can like, you know, exfoliate it. I think you can eat it because it is sugar. And actually this smells really good. And it was just very nice. It really exfoliated my lips. 
lips and got them prepared for anything I was gonna put on over it. And on egg chain, no liquid lipstick, seriously. I literally, all I wore is lip balms like all the time because my lips were way too dry for like any liquid lipsticks. No, 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 that was a big no-no for me. And also I wanna mention a mask. Honestly, I didn't mask that much while I was on egg chain. I liked a lot of Body Bell masks. I like sheet mask type things. I really liked just any sheet masks. Those were kind of my thing. But my main mask that I liked, I didn't mask honestly that much because charcoal masks were obviously dry. I couldn't use any exfoliating masks and stuff like that unless I was going to use it as my once a week exfoliator. But my main favorite mask was from Clinique and then this is their intensive hydrating mask. I really loved that mask. I thought that was amazing. Put it on before bed and wake up in the morning. My skin was so hydrated. That mask, it literally, my skin drank that up so fast that I could literally use that as a moisturizer. That's how dry my skin was. Like it would literally drink it up. I could feel it seeping into my pores, seeping into my skin. It was amazing. I definitely recommend that mask and I'll have all these products linked down below just in case you want to check them out and if you want to buy them for your acting experience because these products will honestly make your experience way more enjoyable and these really helped me out. This is honestly Katie's survival guide. It's almost like Ned's declassified school survival guide but Katie who I have my own show. I wanted my life to be that when I was a kid. Okay, so I almost forgot about this, but there's one more product that I really liked using. And I use this like halfway through Accutane. This is the Trader Joe's Rosewater Facial Toner. It's supposed to hydrate and refresh your skin. You can only get this at Trader Joe's stores. So go to your local Trader Joe's and pick this up. This is amazing. It hydrated my skin and it was just very nice to spray after a shower or after washing my face. I love this and I bathed myself in it. I'm not even kidding you. Okay, so now I'm gonna get on to some tips for Accutane and how to survive it. I only have a few tips, but I will be doing a things I didn't know about Actane or something like that. I forget what it's called. So the first one is to stay hydrated and increase your water intake. So you want to increase your water intake because your skin is very dry and dehydrated and it's going to want to have like more hydration to it and you're going to want your skin balanced and just you want you're going to want your skin to be hydrated. So definitely up your water intake. Definitely get a water bottle that you can just refill throughout the day wherever you go. Whether if you're going to work or school you want a water bottle you can just have with you all the time. And definitely make Make sure you're drinking just a lot of water and upping your intake because you want your skin to just be very hydrated and you just don't want it to be dehydrated. And then of course this is just my Accutane experience this is what I've experienced. Everyone's experience is different so definitely don't take all my words for these things. You want to do your own research and make your own decisions because you know this is just my experience. I'm not saying you have to live your Accutane experience by that so there's a disclaimer there and I think definitely it's okay to do what you feel like doing through your experience you don't always have to listen to what your doctor says because your doctor is telling you certain things from a clinical standpoint it could be like oh you need to buy this you need to buy that you need to use this product you need to use that product like i said my doctor recommended that i get the bite beauty gabby lip mask and i did because obviously i trust my doctor's opinion but i found that the aquaphor was a lot better so i ended up using that but don't really feel like you have to do everything your doctor says of course there's some things that are mandatory like your blood tests and stuff like that but you know you don't have to like go by everything your doctor says they might tell you to get like a certain cleanser but maybe you want to get something else that you feel like would be better for you definitely you know take the recommendations but do your own research whether that's online youtube a blog whatever it is do your own research or going on acting of course but also well on acting do your own research of what things you want to use and stuff like that because you know doctors can only help so much and you know you have to do what's best for you at the end of the day. I know it's hard getting two blood tests a month and it's hard like going to the doctors a lot and I also have to say another tip is to make sure like your insurance is going to cover a good part of your Accutane or at least check into your insurance um, with Accutane how much you're going to cover and stuff like that before Accutane just to prepare because like that'll prepare you for like what costs you might have to cover and stuff like that. Definitely a good tip because you never know like you want to be able to like obviously be able to get your Accutane. You don't want to have to wait because that'll mess up your like system because you want to be taking your pills every day you don't want to get that messed up or anything like that so yeah i'm definitely gonna be doing a full other video full of tips so i'm gonna stop that right here giving you tips but those are my tips i feel like you need to know just today so yeah i hope you enjoyed my actate survival guide i hope you enjoyed it i hope i really helped you out so yeah give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please comment down below
below your acting experiences, products you loved at acting, and all that kind of fun stuff. Just so people can see this if they're going in acting. I want just people to have multiple different opinions, of course. And please subscribe if, if you haven't already. Cause I'm posting every day in August because I am crazy. Yes, I am. And yeah, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, so please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.